All right. Hello. Hello. Welcome to day 14 of our 10 K in 30 day challenge. And of course, this is the teacher's edition. So today we're going to talk about one of the most effective growth strategies that there is. Now do not sleep on this because a lot of us, we discount this portion of the work. The most effective growth strategy is simply reaching out to your network. Everyone has a network. I know somebody is sitting here saying, I don't have a network. I ain't got nobody I can call on. Even if you don't think that you do today, I'm going to prove to you that you do. So we're going to do something exciting and impactful. We're going to do a live outreach. That is my challenge to you today. So oftentimes we will underestimate the power of our own community and our own network that we've already built. I hear you. I know what you're saying. Stop. You're saying I ain't got no network. I can't never call on nobody for anything. People always calling on me. I'm the one who answer all of the questions, solve all of the problems. I'm the dependable one. I'm the resourceful one. I don't have anybody I can call. And it's true. You might feel like you're the go-to person and that others cannot help you. But that's far from the truth. Everyone you know, from family to professional contacts and social media connections can be a doorway to your next opportunity if you will get out of that limited mindset that you have and believe that others want to help you. Because again, let me go back over what a belief is. A belief is a thought that you keep on thinking. Hmm. Let me say that again. A belief is a thought that you keep on thinking. You think the same thing over and over and over and over again, and it becomes a belief. And so you've told yourself over and over and over again, that can't nobody help me. My family ain't never able to help me. They always calling on me, but I can't call on them. And you've established this belief in your mind that no, no one in your network can help you. And I am here to challenge that today. And I want you to be willing to get out of your comfort zone to get uncomfortable and be willing to try, at least try, okay? So I want you to think of your network. Think of it like a garden. These are seeds that you've already planted. All those people who you've helped, all those calls that you've taken, all of those times you've let people uh, pick your brain, all of the favors that you've done, all of the can I borrow $20, all of that. That's a part of your garden that you've planted. And each contact can be a seed that can sprout into an opportunity to, for you because it does not have to be that person who's going to buy your services. They can be the person who's going to refer you to somebody else. Your cousin who is the janitor knows other people. Stop discounting people. Stop limiting people. It, you're, you're working from a garden and you've been watering these seeds and now you get an opportunity to allow them to help you. They can create fruitful, con fruitful connections for you if you believe that. Because remember, everything is about intention. Everything is about belief. If you don't believe that anybody can help you, guess what? Can't nobody help you. If you don't have faith that you can have what it is that you've asked for, guess what? It's not gonna happen. So this is all about you. But today, I wanna challenge you. I want you to take this challenge seriously. And we're going to reach out to 30 people across different platforms. And I want you to do it within one hour. One hour, that's all it takes. So I'm going to make this video really short so that you can go and do the things that you need to do without hesitation or excuses. So the first thing I want you to do, I want you to get your phone. See, I got my phone. I want you to get your phone. And I want you to go to the contacts. And I want you to scroll through, scroll through those contacts. Go through them. And I want you to identify 10 people in your phone that you're going to send a message to. 10 people. And then, uh, and, and I'm going to give you the message that you're going to send. I'm going to make this super simple for you. So let me give you the directions first. First, we're going to uh, look through our phone. We're going to find 10 people who we're going to reach out to, and we're going to send them a message, letting them know what it is that we do and either asking them to hire us or connect us with other people. You're also going to go to your LinkedIn page. Your LinkedIn page has professional contacts on there. 
that you know the people, but they may not be in your phone. You see what I'm saying? So maybe you met them at a conference, maybe you met them, or maybe you used to work with them in a previous job, whatever the situation may be. I want you to identify 10 people in your contacts list on your LinkedIn messages. And then I want you to go to your personal social media, your personal social media, be that Facebook, be that Instagram, be that Snapchat, whatever it is. I want you to go there and I want you to find 10 people who you know, but you don't have their phone number in your contacts that you're going to reach out to on one of the platforms, Facebook or Instagram or whatever. Okay. So write it down, write down these instructions. Are you with me? Are you, are you doing this? Or am I just talking for my health? Come on. I'm trying to help you make $10,000 this month. And if you've never made $10,000 in a month, stop saying what's not going to work and what you don't want to do and just be willing to do it again. Intention believe you got to move in the spirit of, and I need you to be excited, be excited that I'm about to send 30 messages out. Oh my goodness. I don't think I've ever sent 30 messages out, but I know something good is going to come from this. I'm going to do this because this is going to help me to grow. And I know that I'm moving in the right direction. That's the type of energy that you should have. It shouldn't be one. Of, oh my God. Why I got to do this. I don't think I'm going to do this wrong energy, wrong energy, wrong energy. So get your pencil and paper. Let me give you the quick message you're going to send. This is your template. Listen to me. You're going to say, we're going to say the person that we're sending to is Kenya. We're going to say, hey, Kenya, hope you're well. Just wanted to let you know that I'm currently offering services in whatever your services are. I'll use Olivia's example. Um, just wanted to let you know that I'm currently offering services in video editing, social media, and curriculum building. Feel free to hire me or refer me to colleagues who might need my expertise. Here's a link to my work or simply reply to this message to chat more. Thanks. That's it. That's it. Don't overthink it. This is about taking action and getting comfortable with reaching out. Each message is a potential lead and a step towards a new opportunity. We are not overthinking this. Did I ask you to turn the message into a six paragraph letter? No, nope. I gave you the message. It's real simple. Hey, so-and-so, hope you are well. Wanted to make sure you know I'm awesome at video editing, social media, and curriculum writing. Please feel free to hire me or refer me to colleagues who can use my services. You can simply reply to this message to chat more. Thanks. See how simple that is? Do you see how simple that is? We're not overthinking it. You're sending that in LinkedIn. You're sending that through 10 DMs and you're sending 10 text messages. 10, 10, 10. That's going to give you 30. This can be done within the next 60 minutes. You are going to type that script up. You're going to cut and paste it. You're going to think about the two or three things that you can do to get paid for. You're not going to overthink this. I'm making it super simple for you. Those who don't succeed, they didn't follow through. They didn't do the things. They talked themselves out of it and they were worried about what other people are going to say, what people are going to think. I don't know if this is going to work. You've never done it. How do you know if, it, if it's going to work? If you send it to 30 and even if you get one response back, that's more than you had to begin with. And you're letting people be aware of how you can help them now. So now they don't just know you as the teacher. They don't just know you as the librarian. They don't just know you as the counselor or whatever your role is. They now know you do these other things. And so they might call on you later if they don't call on you now. But this is the first step. And I want you to go ahead and make this happen. You have one hour. I want you to do it. And I want you to come back to this video and say, I completed the challenge. I completed today's challenge. I completed my task for today. Let us know. It's too many of us who are coming here. We're watching the videos and we're just sitting around thinking about doing it, making excuses, letting ourselves off the hook, not doing the things that we need to do. We're saying stuff like, well, you know, school started back today. I keep telling y'all life is going to keep life. And the world doesn't stop because you put something new on your plate. Figure out what you need to take off your plate. Do you need to take TV off your plate? Do you need to take talking to your family members, your sisters, them off your plate? Do you need to stop being in your kid's business and take that off your plate? It's something that you need, to, you need to take off your plate. Stop going to all of the brunches. I'm saying that for myself. When I need to take something off my plate right now, today is a brunch day. 
And I have made it clear. I'm not going to brunch because I want to batch a couple of videos for the people in my challenge. I'm not going to brunch right now. You're probably watching this on day 14, but it's actually only day 11, day 10 in the real world. When I'm recording this, it is Sunday at 221. You're watching this, what, on Wednesday or Thursday? This is brunch time. I should have a mimosa in my hand right now. A pineapple one if you want to know exactly what it is I should have. But I don't. I'm here. I'm doing the work. I had to take that off my plate because if I want to finish this challenge, I need to batch some episodes. And so that's what I'm doing. And so that's what you need to do as well. What are you willing to sacrifice? You need one hour today, right now. 10, 10, 10. That's it. 10, 10, 10. 10 messages, 10 LinkedIn messages. I'm sorry, 10 text messages, 10 LinkedIn messages, and 10 social media direct DMs, direct messages. DM the people. Yep, that's 30. And out of that 30, you're going to get some traction. You're going to get a response. I can almost guarantee you that. But you got to be willing to do it. So your challenge starts now. Let's go ahead and end this session. And let me give you a quick reminder. If you haven't signed up for how to sell your services to schools, community-based organizations, and colleges, get signed up. Again, I'm going to give you the game. I'm going to give you the tea so that you can go out here, make these sales, make this money, and do what you need to do. Okay? But I can't do that in a 10-minute video. I need about two hours to help you to understand what you need to do and how to go through the process of doing it. So again, I want to thank you all for today. Remember, every message is a seed that you're planting. Everyone is a seed that you're planting. And with consistent effort, <coughs> with consistent effort, your, your network garden is, going, garden is going to yield some amazing results. Some people have already quit. We're only on day 14. Some folks done already quit. They, done already, they can't be consistent for even 30 days of somebody coming on live telling them what to do. If you're still with me and you've been with me since day one, tell me in the, tell me in the comments. Let me know. Say, Dr. D, I'm with you. Dr. D, I'm still with you. Let me know. That needs to be celebrated because it's hard to keep going. And there's so many reasons why you should quit, but you got to have your reason why you're going to stay. So tune in tomorrow for more actionable strategies. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to keep up with the challenge.